Right then, let's see what it feels like to be filled with beef. Hey my friends, it's Paparoni and look at this. Iceland, beef filled Yorkshire pudding. Another big value pack for a quid. So it's cooked beef silver side with vegetables in gravy and a Yorkshire pudding. Three ways to cook it. I'm gonna microwave it for six minutes. So here it is my friends, straight out of the microwave. What a lovely color. Look at the orange on the carrots and the green on the peas. Fantastic. And you've got this kind of like rich gravy that's going on in there. Let's have a look at that. Oh yeah, that's pretty thick, isn't it? That gravy, look at that, falling off the fork. The carrots look like they've oh, done well in the microwave. Let's have a go. Yep, the fork went through it nice and cleanly. Then we have these slices of roast beef. I said slices of roast beef. You actually get a slice of roast beef, but it's looking good. It's a nice carve and it's got a little bit of fat on the end there to add some extra flavor. Looks like a nice lean cut. I can't see any gnarly bits looking at it from here. Now this meal would give you 351 calories, 5.3 grams of fat, of which only 0.9 grams is saturated fat. The carrots and peas are colorful and make it look even more inviting. This one here even looks like it's like a carrot with two green eyes. Overall, this looks like a lovely plate of food of which I must get involved. Right, looking good, smelling good. I'm gonna kick off with some carrots. The carrots are simply delicious. They got a little bit of crunch to them and they taste sweet and very carroty. Oh, I'm impressed with them. Right, let's get involved with some peas. Oh yeah, the peas are just as good. Yeah, they're sweet and they've got no kind of like hardness to them. Enough bite, but generally soft. So a decent pea. Let's try a bit of that gravy. The gravy is okay. Okay, there's not actually that much flavor to the gravy. I was hoping it'd be a lot more beefy than that. So I reckon a sprinkle of salt, perhaps a touch of white pepper, but definitely a bit of salt. Just getting a bit of beef together. Did you know the Sunday roast originated in England and it was basically a large meal that was eaten on Sundays after church? Right, here's a piece of that beef. Let's see what he's all about. Nice, tasty, no grisly bits chowed down well, tasted beefy. That is a decent slice of beef. Okay, I'm now gonna break the seal of that Yorkshire pudding. Oh, it's a bit tough to cut through. Right, I managed to saw a bit off. Here we go. Now, I realized I microwaved the Yorkshire pudding, so it hasn't got a crispiness to it but it still had a decent chew. There was one thing that was weird though. When I first put it in my gob, it tasted rather flavorless and a bit sweet. But as I masticated further, I realized it tasted a bit like a Yorkshire pudding. The beef is definitely the star of the show. And overall, it's a little bit bland in all fairness, but seven out of 10 to the last bite. Mm. So, Iceland, beef filled Yorkshire pudding. It's not really beef filled, is it? Let's face it. It had one slice in it, <laughs> no, but you would suggest on here, it was like packed full of beef, but it just wasn't. And also another thing, when I microwaved your sachet of eat for six minutes, like you stated, it was still a bit frozen in the middle. So I had to whack it in for an extra two minutes. But you know what? It was a quid. And we all know what that means. We love quid lunches, don't we? Absolutely, because what are we? What are we? Skint, that's right. That's right, we are skint out here. So we appreciate the effort as ever from Iceland. 
at least trying to feed us meat and two veg in a Yorkshire pudding. Beautiful. So thanks for the effort, Iceland. Anyway, thanks for coming. Until next time, get out of here. I put the um, pat, oh, what did I put? Where and when? I'm gagging to get involved. Oh, just, oh. I'm going to crack off. Kick off. Whoa, well caught. Thank you.